What up guys, Darren Hickey here from DD Detailing with the good old Darren Mitchell as you know. Um, it's currently 6 o'clock in the morning and we are not starting this vlog from our usual spot which is the unit. We are starting it from Cork Airport. The reason why we're going to G Technic today is Darren because become accredited. we're going to become accredited and plus have a chat with the guys who run G Technic and basically organize what the plan with G Technic going forward in 2018 is for Ireland. And so there are the two things on our agenda. So let's see what else they have in store for us. But anyway, we're about to fly out and plane leaves in 15 minutes isn't too bad, it's an hour flight which is okay. But um, guys stay tuned and we'll, we'll show you what else has got to come. Birmingham, now we gotta find out who our rental car is with. Hopefully, they give us something nice. I know we booked a, a Fiesta, but hopefully, all the Fiestas are gone. <laughs> hopefully, all the Fiestas are gone. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta find next. Um, there, this way. We gotta find the rental crowd that we're with, um, and then presumably, we should go get breakfast and then make our way to Birmingham or make our way to G Technics headquarters and uh, start our day's training. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can find our little fiesta first. So when we booked this trip, we had to book a rental car because we have to drive now 50 minutes the whole way down to G Technic from the airport and we said, look, we're not going to be long, we're not going to book anything fancy. So we booked a fiesta. Landed to the booking to the car rental crowd and they said, oh, we have no fiestas. We're like, okay, what are you going to give us? Thinking you can't get much worse. But to be fair, they have given us the fastest Honda they can. Like, she was like, it is an upgrade. We are giving you the fastest Honda we you can give you in our lot. So we got a Honda Jazz. <laughs> so for anyone who knows us, you'll find this really, really funny. Darren is behind me right now in that red Jazz. Um, assessing the car with the people, but you want to have a clue what we do. Which is kind of funny that we're assessing a car to rent it, <laughs> and they don't realise that that's what we do. Nine to five is assess brand new cars, which is kind of funny in the bigger scale of things. They think an upgrade from a Fiesta is a Honda Jazz. Now, I'm not hating on Honda Jazzes, but if you ask me, I'd prefer a Fiesta. time in this, this this journey to um, down out of Birmingham we said we'd do a um, Honda review a Honda Jazz review if you don't want to see a Honda Jazz review by D&D &D, just just skip forward the video right now I don't know skip I, forward by a minute or I two. assume all of you are gonna skip forward <laughs> so you're all gonna skip forward so we can say whatever you want so we're gonna review this Honda Jazz I'm gonna assume it's a brand new Honda Jazz because the lady in the counter told me it's a brand new Honda Jazz we don't know because I can't read English regions so I don't know I presume it's, it's a, it's a 70. Okay, so the 17, Darren can confirm. So we are reviewing a Honda Jazz 2017. Don't make us get lost because of this any review. Okay, <laughs> and we better not get lost because we're taking a second exit in the next roundabout. Anyway, straight on. So, uh, do we know what engine size it is? It's small. It's small. It's small. <laughs> it, it's so small, they don't even put a number on it, right? It's just small. That's what the, the engine size is. So we're going to start off our product review with the paint options. Okay, for as far as we know, because we're not handing them in, so we don't really know what the options are. We know they do it in white and red because they are the two cars that are shown in front of us. Okay, they probably do more colours, <laughs> but all we know because this company had two Honda Jazzes. Because this company had two Honda Jazzes. Really nice. Like, just in Because this company had two Honda Jazzes. One was red, one was white. Yeah. So we nice, only two colors. Nice colors, solid colors. Okay. Nice options. They have an option for allies, because once again around this cut, and they're diamond cut. So we'll give them that much. They're diamond cut. I don't know, are they 16s, 15s? They're small. One is low on t pressure, which the person who gave us card didn't realize, but we don't worry. We, we, we told them. We told them. We, we pointed that out. So we know they come with diamond cut allies. Nice option. And other than that. 
they're pretty basic bar two bits of technology I like which is the push start button which is here I probably shouldn't push it now because we're probably driving not. <laughs> and this touch screen it is a massive like LCD touch screen which won't work now for me oh there we go warning so I'll admit that's a nice display it's very dated for a display in a 171 car sorry I can't say 171 because we're not learning anymore for a display that's in a 2017 car I think that's very dated looking um, so I do. Uh, I can't comment on the driving because I haven't driven it yet. Darren will have to comment on that. Um, all I know is this is the six speed ma manual transmission and even in six gear cruising, staying within the speed limits, it is struggling and I mean struggling. Like 80 kilometers an hour in six gear, it sounds like it's under pressure. Yeah, anyway, other than that, it, seat, it seats five. It seats, it seats four and a half. Um, so if you have three, three Americans, three Americans, you might want to edit that out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it seats four and a half comfortably. Um, it's got cup holders, electric windows, and all the rest of it. Um, but other than that, it is a hand jacks. It's comfortable enough. I will, I will agree. It's comfortable enough for the journey we're doing. It's perfect. Would I buy one? Probably not. Would. Would, would someone of the age buy one? Probably, like it's, it's a hand of jazz, like it's, it's a lovely car. Anyway, apparently by the rental company we were informed that this car brand new cost them 30 grand. Well, which we all know it didn't, but that's what they're claiming, it cost them 30 grand. I cannot, 30,000 sterling, who would give someone 30,000 sterling for a hand of jazz? But anyway, the funny part of this whole story is not us. She classes us as after getting an upgrade. You could argue that point, I argued the point, but I don't think it's an upgrade. I would prefer the Fiesta right now. Um, in the bigger scale of things, it probably is an upgrade. Um, but the person next to us, he overheard the fact that they don't have golfs, they don't have Passats, they don't have other cars that are, are quite, you know, highly classed. And for us, it's okay. We we went down and we went, let's get the Fiesta. As I said, we're not bothered. We're only doing, I think it's 40, I think it's 82 miles. I'm glad we're doing 82 miles because we have a 90 mile limit. But um, 82 miles is all we have to travel. So he said, look, we'll just get whatever is the, the handiest, whatever is the smallest car, whatever. Um, this guy deliberately ordered a golf, like deliberately. And when he was told that there is no golf in stock, Yuan had ruined his whole day. Like he was outraged. He got the white on the jazz, by the way. <laughs> we got the red one, he got the white one. He was outraged, and I mean outraged. Yuan was trying to class and tell him, it is the equal to a golf. No, I'm sorry. A Honda Jazz is not an equal to a Volkswagen Golf. It will never be an equal to a Volkswagen Golf. A Volkswagen Golf is worth 30 grand. Even 30 grand sterling. A Jazz isn't. So anyway, guys, that is our absolute professional opinion, full extensive review of a Honda Jazz. We've only had it for 20 minutes, but that's our full <laughs> professional opinion of a Honda Jazz. Um, if we discover more about it, we'll fill you in. Other than that, if you would like to hear more of these in-depth analysis and reviews, please email Darren Mitchell <laughs> at d Darren Mitchell at d and d detailing .ie. Um, Anyway, so for anyone that skipped ahead and you're just rejoining this video, welcome back. Welcome back to the normal vlog by D&D. And you missed a great product review of the, the Honda Jazz. You didn't. Um, so yeah, get back in the swing of things. We are the sat nav that interrupted that whole thing. We are 16 minutes away from G-Technic, which is good, because I'm hungry and I want to get food before we go do this course. There's another Audi overtaking. And there's another Audi overtaking. That's one in crossover yokes. That's kind of cool, you don't see them in Ireland a lot. That is an Audi all-road A6. Stay tuned and we'll talk to you when we get to G-Technic when that kind of like falls.
What up guys, I'm gonna quickly fill you in on what part of the program we're in right now. Um, we're just after having our, basically, I suppose, our introduction and all that, going through all the serious stuff. Um, in a minute we're gonna have lunch, and then we're going down to basically do the hands-on side of the course. Um, I'm gonna show you a few clips of that. I'm currently up in their waiting slash chill out area. It's really, really cool. They have like a simulator on a big, um, big projector, big conference table bit of a bar and stuff behind me as you can see and um, all like chill out areas, a lot of engines all stripped apart and stuff like that, made into coffee tables and they even have a SK electric set. So that's next up which is basically we're going down now to the hands on side of the course about applying the coatings to test panels, applying glassings and going through all the different coatings that they offer and um, do's and don'ts and all the rest of it. And then after that then it's basically back up and I think we're going to have a crack off this, this race similar. But anyway, that's where we are guys. I'm going to show you a few clips next up is basically us doing the coatings and all the other people that are participating in this course today. And the coatings with the instructors and stuff like that. And we're going to go through um, basically the whole lot of that. So stay tuned guys and we'll see what's, what's in store. The day is not quite over yet and we might have a few surprises. Now they are quite strict on where I can video and where I can. So I can record up here because it's a communal area, there's no answer. I can record in a detailing bay, they don't mind that at all. Beyond that I can't. So I can't show you all that much footage. So there you have it guys, um, we're just leaving G-Technic, you can see it in the background behind us, and um, what a mental day. It's supposed to finish at 4, <laughs> it is 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's supposed to be finished 2 hours ago, um, but unfortunately, well not unfortunately, um, luckily enough we booked our flight for 9 o'clock, so not too bad it ran over, um, ended up having a chat with um, Rob, Earl. Rob Earl, the owner, and stuff is looking very bright for d and and G-Technic in Ireland, um, I'm glad to say. So. What a crazy day, um, cool. Like you've seen this video right now, like the setup they have, the standard they're setting, um, like their detailing room is, is savage, the technology they're putting into it. And I must admit like, they are really pushing this brand. Um, they have good ceilings and I thought, you know, good ceilings, it works and just keep going. But no talking to them, like how they're pushing um, the antibacterial technology in, I can't say, they've told us stuff that we can't say but publicly. <laughs> Uh, I suppose antibacterial technology into some of their existing products and some new products and they're kind of like pushing the boundaries of these ceilings which until he kind of said and told us about it I was like oh, that makes sense and I'm, I'm glad to see they're pushing their brand that way it's not like look C2 V3 is out there look Christian lights out there it works just that's where it is it's not these guys are talking about EXO version 3, EXO version 4 showing us demonstrations of what EXO the next EXO is meant to be but they can't um, and all this mint and stuff. It's just cool to see it. It's constantly being pushed. They're constantly trying to be the best and they're not just like We have it. It's done. There you go. I I really do believe they are like trying their best to improve their products as far as they can to make sure that us as detailers you as customers and um, You really are getting the best product for, for your money You really are getting the best product for your time you're putting in to each vehicle which is good anyway um so that that's a wrap up i don't know do you want to add any more to that there your opinion of the day i need food yeah uh, yeah we're quite hungry we skipped breakfast to be fair they put on nice bread for lunch but i'm yeah. um, quite hungry now so we got to get back on the motorway head back for Birmingham airport as close as we can get some food and see what else this trip has in store i'm tired he doesn't look as tired as i do but i'm tired so, so far we got lost in Birmingham, couldn't find where to bring the car back to. I had an argument with the guy, the renting guy, because they charged us twice. I had to hold him back, <laughs> nearly fisticuffs. Because they decided to charge us twice as deposit, so I had a fight with him. 
are playing boards at 25 to 9. It's now 25 to 9. We're not ready for boarding yet. We're sitting in Burger King getting dinner because we haven't stopped all day for food. So we're debating whether to have food here or try and smuggle it through security. Probably not going to go all that well in the big airport like to Birmingham. So I think we'll have it here. If you have it here, it means it's going to be late. So that, that, that's where we are right so now. So we may not open tomorrow. <laughs> we might not be open tomorrow either. Maybe we might have the day off. I don't know. And if so, I know what I would do with my day tomorrow here in England. Anyway, um, so that's the scenario. Cara got delivered back and we managed to get away with not getting assessed. We yet had to have an argument with the guy who worked there, unfortunately. Anyway guys, that's an update. We'll see if we make it to the plane. Hopefully we do. I want to go home. And uh, yeah, fun times. Quickly show you a quick look through the wash bay and um, the wash bay setup. Great, okay, that's that bit done. No. <laughs> I put that in. <laughs>